Hello, this is Michael Gaffer. I'm a piano and music theory teacher, music creation teacher, and uh, composer and pianist. I'm making videos for my uh, beginner students, and some of these videos might be helpful to anyone who wants to learn piano or to brush up on things. Today, I'm going to be talking about pulse. So, uh, pulse in music is basically a reoccurring uh, feel or count. Uh, usually relates to time signature, but pulse is really uh, sometimes independent of time signature. I'm going to show you a couple of examples. So, the first video I talked about the book. Uh, the second video I talked about um, up and down. So, up and down is actually very important on the piano because the keyboard is so big, uh, we want to know basically which direction we're going in. So this video is going to talk about uh, pulse and it's a great way for children to learn left hand from right hand. It's also a very good coordination exercise. Great for adults. Um, some of these things can actually help uh, prevent and deal with things like Alzheimer's. So what we're doing here is uh, we're going to be starting to read music. So this is a very, very gentle way of starting. So if you see an L, you're going to play a key with your left hand. If you see an R, you're going to play a key with your right hand. If you see a T, you're going to play together. What I'm going to be doing make things really simple is I'm going to be using this D with my right hand and this D with your left hand. If you want you can do something different uh, and see what you like. So for example you can play the D with your right hand, the F with your left hand. I'm going to be trying some different things. So first of all we're going to be looking at the first line. And if you just read the first line, you'll see right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I put the twos in a box. So this is going to help introduce us into a 2-4 time signature, or uh, what we call duple, or a 2. So if you're right-handed, this should be easy for you. So it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So that's the D and the D. I'm going to do the D and the F now. So right hand D, left hand F. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So one of the other things I'm doing is I'm making the first with the right long and I'm making the left short. So this gives us a real sense of the pulse of two. Uh, now I'm going to do DA with the same thing. And you're going to notice the right hand long, left, short. So D with the right, A with the left, long, short. Now I'm going to try uh, together, right, together, right. So this is going to be just thinking of something more difficult, but it's not written. I'll do this for now. Together, right with the D's. Together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right. You'll notice that I made them all in fours. This is very common in music. So we'll have a four bar phrase. We're just pretending each box is a bar. Now the three, so patterns of three, uh, so dances like a waltz and a minuet are always in three. It can actually be very evasive for students, very hard. So I'm going to try together, right, right, together, right, right. And again, it's going to be a long, short, short. And I'm going to use the two Ds. So it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now for left-handed people, I'm going to try the together, left, left. If you want to get really fancy, what we could do is we could do the two Ds with together 
and the left I'm going to do F. So when I see the together, I'm going to do the Ds. When I see L, I'm going to do F. Let's see what this sounds like. So this is the second line. Together is two Ds. Uh, excuse me. L is F. because I want to get to the last example. So now we're in uh, patterns of four. The thing to remember about fours is sometimes it's impossible to know the difference between fours and twos. So if we look at this, it's the same as the two, right, left, right, left, right, left. So that's a pattern of two. So I want to do something that's a real four so I'm going to do together, right, together, left, together, right, together, left. Uh, I'm going to keep this simple for now. So it's just going to be with the Ds. So together, right, together, left, together, right, together, left. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Okay, so that's a short example of the four. I really wanted to get to the last example. Uh, I'm just going to read what I wrote here. Tapping exercises are also a great way to learn, experience, and understand rhythm and pulse, the feel of the rhythm. Try to understand the pulse of the clapping exercise below. So this is also a playing exercise. And I'm going to jump down to here. See this box is a six. Right, left, left, right, left, left. Six letters. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Six letters. But what's happening here, the right, left, left, right, left, left will feel like two groups of three. The right, left, right, left, right, left will feel like three groups of two. So this rhythm is actually called hemiola. The alternating pulse of two groups of three and three groups of two. So it's going to be right, left, left, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You also notice I'm using what we call the articulation, so uh, short and long. Long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long. And this is actually the uh, pulse or the concept that Leonard Bernstein used in the song I Want to Live in America from West Side Story. So I'll just try it one more time. I'm going to go a little faster just for fun. So it's going to be six, one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, repeat. couple of cracks there. One of the things I say about playing the piano is there's lots of keys but there's even more cracks. So one of the things about piano you really want to make sure that you have your finger in the middle of the key. Okay that's it for now that's about eight and a half nine minutes. See you again bye bye.